flying robots. We're currently living in an era of automation, where autonomous robots and vehicles are taking over the entire tech sector. Over the past few years, there's been a surge in the innovation of autonomous robots like drones, wheeled or legged robots, bird-like robots, and so much more for advanced and potentially dangerous tasks that cannot be performed by humans. Even though autonomous technology is still at a very nascent stage, researchers and scientists are continually experimenting with the technology and innovating creative products and applications. One such innovation is the flying robot, which has excited almost every tech enthusiast about the future of the industry. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end for the top 10 flying robots of all time. But before we begin, we request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's jump right in. Number 10, Robo Bees. Inspired by the biology of a bee, researchers at the Weiss Institute are developing Robo Bees, man-made systems that can perform myriad roles in agriculture or disaster relief. A Robo Bee measures about half the size of a paperclip, weighs less than one-tenth of a gram, and flies using artificial muscles, comprised of materials that contract when a voltage is applied. Additional modifications allow some models of RoboBee to transform from swimming underwater to flying, as well as perch on surfaces using static electricity. The masterminding of the RoboBee was motivated by the idea to develop autonomous micro-area vehicles capable of self-contained, self-directed flight, and of achieving coordinated behavior in large groups. To that end, the RoboBee development is broadly divided into three main components, the body, the brain, and colony. Body development consists of constructing robotic insects that are able to fly on their own with the help of a compact and seamlessly integrated power source. Brain development is concerned with smart sensors and control electronics that mimic the eyes and antenna of a bee, and can sense and respond dynamically to the environment. The colony's focus is about coordinating the behavior of many independent robots so that they act as an effective unit. Number 9. Iron Cub Iron Cub is a humanoid robot that's developed by eminent researchers from the Italian Institute of Technology. It took them almost five years to build this robot. The idea behind this robot was to install jet engines on its hands and feet to make the humanoid robot fly. Iron Cub has two jet engines clipped onto the back of the robot and two jet engines on the forearms. It's also sporting what looks like a cool pair of metallic pants, but it's actually made of heat-resistant material to protect the robot from the jet engine's fire. However, a new and updated version of Iron Cub has flame protective coverings on its legs and feet. Number 8. Simon Simon is the world's first flying AI assistant that's developed by the German space agency DLR, Airbus, and IBM. The primary idea behind this AI robot was to assist astronauts to do their jobs more efficiently, with the aid of artificial intelligence. Simon 2 is the updated version of the first Simon robot that was launched into the ISS to stay there for three years. All of this because they conduct hundreds of experiments where they've memorized and trained for on the ground, but now in zero gravity. For example, they research disease treatments or how technology designed for space can improve our life on Earth. The scientists who designed these experiments can't all be on the space station, so the astronaut becomes their arms and eyes and brains to conduct the work. Simon can be trained on the tasks and experiments of a mission and responds to voice questions or directions without the need for a tablet or computer, which leaves the astronauts hand-free to conduct experiments without pausing to type or search. Simon can also help an astronaut resume a paused task, remembering exactly where they left off. Because the crew knows that they can ask for assistance and receive an answer quickly, in the future, Simon could help increasing crew productivity while reducing stress. Number 7. Flying Fruit Picking Robot Fruit harvesting is a rigorous and tiresome job. The advent of these flying fruit picking robots has made this task extremely easier for fruit farmers. These robots are aiding farmers to save huge amounts of money and reduce fruit wastage per year globally. There are some concerns with such robots and AI leading to human unemployment. However, Tevil has developed a flying autonomous robot, dubbed FAR, to complement human fruit pickers rather than replace them. The FAR robot utilizes AI to identify and pick the ripest fruit and work 24 hours a day. It combines computer vision with artificial intelligence, data fusion, and perception, aeronautical engineering, advanced robotics, and state-of-the-art flight control. The robot uses AI perception algorithms to pinpoint the trees and vision algorithms to distinguish the fruit among the leaves and classify its size and ripeness. High flexibility levels enable the robot to harvest multiple fruit types, including avocado, apples, pears, and oranges. 
After identifying the ripe fruit, the FAR robot determines the best way to approach the fruit while remaining stable as its picking arm grabs the fruit. Number 6. Flycro Tug Flycro Tug is a small flying robot that's similar to a drone, which can carry surprisingly heavy loads. Researchers have modified this system so that it can anchor itself to various surfaces. Number 5. The Snow Goose Bravo Snow Goose Bravo from Canada-based Miss Mobility Integrated Systems Technology, or MMIST, is an update to the company's Snow Goose CQ-10A cargo drone. The original played a role in US Special Operations Command missions for years. The Bravo may look like a helicopter with that big rotor up top, but notice the large back propeller. The Snow Goose is an auto gyro, an aircraft whose rotor serves as a stabilizer while motive power is delivered to the propeller. Unlike a helicopter, the main rotor of the Bravo does not need mechanical power once the drone is flying. Before takeoff, shaft power is applied to the main rotor to get it spinning, and then the system hops into the air like a helicopter. The pusher propeller gets it moving forward to maintain rotor flying speed. MMIST president and Snow Goose creator Sean McCann said that the Snow Goose Bravo can carry 600 pounds of cargo, reach 18,000 feet, and accelerate past 70 miles per hour. And it uses less energy than what a conventional helicopter design, he said. Number 4. Indigo VTOL in March, a massive cyclone named Pam swept across the small island nation of Manatu, killing 11 people, displacing almost 200,000, and destroying more than 96% of the nation's food crops. To assess the enormous damage area, relief workers used a 5-pound foldable drone called the Indigo VTOL Quad Rotor from Lockheed Martin. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Defense One was on hand to view the Indigo demo. No, it's not the most creative looking design, but the Indigo requires much less setup time than many other commercial quadcopters. It's far quieter and more rugged, but starting at $48,900, it's also more expensive than similar consumer drones. Indigo has not undergone full US military standard environment testing, but the Perceptor sensor package affixed to the bottom has been mill spaced. Number 3. The Eternus D. The Eternus D, a semi-solar powered drone from DII, has a 7 foot wingspan and weighs just 10 pounds. Solar powered drones aren't new, but integrating them into new frames is an ever evolving art. The Eternus can fly for 6 hours at 27 miles per hour or 1.2 hours at 45 miles per hour. Number 2. Tannen. The diesel powered Tannen, marketed by Airbus Defense and Space, represented here at about one quarter its actual size, stands 17 feet long and 6 feet high. It requires one operator, looks something like from a Saturday morning cartoon show, can carry a maximum payload of 176 pounds, and can reach 93 miles per hour. But not all at the same time. Number 1. Lotus. Part unmanned Osprey, part Transformer, the Lotus from Jovi Aviation was developed in concert with NASA. Its wingtips transform into propellers to provide a vertical lift like a helicopter. Once aloft, the tips fold back and the tilting tail rotor takes over to reduce drag and allow cruising. A future 275-pound class hybrid electric UAV development of this configuration has the potential to become the first VTOL aircraft to achieve 24-hour endurance, the website says. Hopefully. With that said, we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Lastly, join in next time for more of such interesting content.